that's why they call me up Cause I be going on them Ooh, they couldn't stop me if they wanted to That's why they call me I'm the inner child Martha De Laurentiis, whose film career spans over 30 years is a true example of a strong and capable woman. After graduating from Ball State University, Martha took her first job in the entertainment industry as a producer's assistant in New York. She quickly proved herself and became head of administration for Dino De Laurentiis Productions. How did you always remember who you were and stay true to that, that that's integrity? It's Jennifer, I always knew I wasn't alone. I always surrounded myself with friends. And especially with women, it's very, very important that we keep the girlfriends. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was always through, through school that I had tight friends and that I've, I've stayed great connections with my high school friends, my college friends, my friends from the New York days, mm -hmm. as well as I've, I'm in quite a few, um, not even networking groups, you wouldn't call them, but on the Women's Leadership Board at the Kennedy mm -hmm. School of Government, for instance, we're uh, 150 uh, women board. Wow. As well as there's the trusteeship in, in Los Angeles, which is the L.A. based um, group of the International Women's Forum mm -hmm. and the Women's Leadership Council that we formed about nine years ago out of a group of women uh, my age that we had school children together, but they were moving on to the higher levels of education mm. and we didn't want to lose touch. Mm -hmm. And what all these groups are based on are what we can, as women, can contribute and become friends with and with our gifts that we have to share with them, you know, whether it's just friendship, whether mm -hmm. it's we can help, um, you know, mentor, uh, it's, it's just all part of that sisterhood network. Mm -hmm. In 1983, Martha established her company, the Dino De Laurentiis Company, where she went on to build major film studios and produce award-winning films. Do you ever get stressed? Well, a challenge is the challenge. And I'm perhaps the type of person that the glass is half full and getting fuller. I've always had that um, optimistic, I think, outlook on life. And whether it's luck or whether I've always been at the right place at the right time, but yet I've taken that and I've, I've basically, instead of being the aggressive or the verbose person, I listen, I absorb mm -hmm. it, and I learn. And, and that's what I think I enjoy about the, the occupation that I've chosen in the film industry where every day is a challenge. Mm -hmm. You've just got to keep pushing it forward. If you don't Enjoy push it the forward, challenge. Mm -hmm. no one is going to do it for you. Mm -hmm. And what you're doing is, and sure, I have fears. I mean, when I first came into the business, I was the, the blonde with the older <laughs> man, but yet I was qualified in what I was doing. Right. But yet I felt I had to always prove that mm -hmm. I deserved the position that I was going into. Mm -hmm. And you never lose that, I think, as women in a professional field. Mm -hmm. You always have that in you, you know, that little voice inside Pretty of you. Yeah. Of course, and we've got to prove and just do it mm -hmm. that, that bit better. But I think we as women want to also, the way we run our household, the way we want to raise our kids, we want to prove and provide better than what we had, even though we mm -hmm. had it great. Mm -hmm. We always feel that we want to be able to provide better, to set that better example. And it's then the mindset of how we set that example and mm -hmm. why. While being an active mother and wife, Martha has always kept a healthy balance in her life while achieving great accomplishments in her field. So Martha, how do you maintain balance in your life? What I fundamentally have is a strong moral core. Mm -hmm. you know, I grew up much like you in, in a family of a smaller town in Ohio. We're very faith-based, very morally based. Um, and, and very encouraged to do the right thing always. You know, what, mm -hmm. what is the best thing that I could do? Martha has produced more than 30 films, including the Oscar-nominated Crimes of the Heart, Blue Velvet, Manhunter, Year of the Dragon, Desperate Hours, Breakdown starring Kurt Russell, the critically acclaimed Bound, U571 starring Matthew McConaughey, Hannibal, Hannibal Rising, and Red Dragon starring Ed Norton and Anthony Hopkins. So what would you say to someone out there who's in a rut, who knows maybe what they want, but they don't think they can get there? A lot of people get themselves in holes. Oh, pity me, I'm not interesting. Well, become interesting. Mm. Learn, learn things that interest you, and just keep reading, go to the library, immerse yourself in knowledge. Get out of ourselves, out of our head. Absolutely, we limit ourselves There's to There's so much out that. there. There is, mm -hmm. always. In her busy schedule, this incredible mother, wife, and CEO makes time for philanthropy. 
She serves on the board of many nonprofit organizations, including the Los Angeles Women's Leadership Council and the international organization Save the Children. Martha's company is currently headquartered on the lot at Universal Studios, where she is presently working on an all-new filmic reinvention of Barbarella. Martha proves that anything in life is possible if you dream big, stay true to who you are, and follow your passions. I think it's great what you're doing. Thank you know, you. It's always wonderful to take that personal experience and help others.